We interrupt regular programming to bring you a message. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Welcome to Mike's Retro Tech and the Retro Tech Loft. Um, not so much in the loft again today, back in the normal business office downstairs. Um, what I've got here is a Lynx tablet convertible slate computer. So Lynx make cheapish, you know, middle of the range sort of Windows 10, Windows 8 devices. Um, 10 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch, you know, the full range of tablets um, with Windows 8 or Windows 10. Now I bought this off eBay for £22.50 I think it was a couple of weeks ago and it was sold by the seller, he got, he got about 10 or 12 of them, uh, not so many now, I think loads of people have bought them, but he got about 10 of them and I made him a best offer, £22.50 and it was sold as working but with minor faults and the minor fault was that the screen didn't rotate when you took the tablet off its keyboard base so I thought well yeah okay it's gonna be either something simple which will be a software problem or it needs a reinstall or the drivers are not on or it's gonna be something more difficult to fix which it turned out it was but a lot of people that have owned these have had them for 12 months or so and then the same thing has happened the screen rotation doesn't work after like a windows update or they can't get the drivers for it or they can't find the rebuild disc or anything like that so i thought at a push for 22 pound 50 it was worth having so when it arrived it was like this it's in really good condition so these were made i believe about 2015 maybe 2016 so just as windows 10 came out but they were installed with windows 8 and when i fired this one up it had windows 10 pro education installed and fully activated so that is a cut down version with presumably no games no internet explorer no you know, fancy domain con connecting, just, just basically for kids to use or for students. Um, so I know it works, and the guy was right, it didn't rotate the screen. So anyway, we'll have a, we'll have a quick look around it. Um, this is the back of the machine, obviously. So you've got, you've got camera at the back there. Uh, either side here, you've got a speaker. So one there one there for your stereo sound you've got your Intel powered by Intel logo your Lynx logo your serial number and your description and then the Windows 10 Pro sticker or the Windows Pro sticker I should say it can be any version after 8.1 I think we took that logo um, and then this at the back here is the dock for the keyboard which is on this side and this is the separate serial number for the keyboard dock because this was a separate on the smaller tablets or you could buy this separately and not as part of the kit. I believe this did come in a box as the educational Windows 10. So it is complete, I believe. Um, there was no power cable, but it's a micro USB and I've got loads of those, so that's fine. So this is a keyboard base, which is quite weighty with four rubber feet on the bottom and its own serial number. So I can do this one handed. So you open it like a clamshell. Yes, there we go, like so. Right, and it's a very shiny, very shiny screen. So on the right-hand side, there are no ports at all. It's just the bottom of the tablet. There is the Windows touch-sensitive button there to get the Windows bar up. That's for in tablet mode. And then on the left-hand side, you've got micro HDMI out there you've got three and a half millimeter audio jack power in uh, micro USB and two USB 3 blue sockets which run quite quickly and then on the lid you've got power volume up volume down so to get into the BIOS for the boot into the USB and things like that you press the volume up and then press power and then when it reboots, you get the BIOS screen and the boot. 
and then you can choose whether or not you can enable TPM, which these have. They do have TPM, um, which is quite good. And you can do things like turn off secure boot and EUFI boot and things like that. So they're pretty good little little tablets. Um, they're two gigabytes of RAM. And I think it's an Intel Atom Z3850 processor. But I will I will check that and I'll put it in the in the video or in the description what the spec is on these machines. Anyway, you power it on by pressing and holding the power button for at least five seconds. There we go. And as you can see, it's in portrait mode. That way it, it doesn't switch around the 10. 64s and the 1264s which i've had before do whereas this one just doesn't um and as you can see now it's booted into windows 10 um so i i reinstalled a number of operating systems on this to try and get this screen rotation working and it didn't work and because i don't have a copy of windows 10 education i had to put windows 10 pro on which automatically activated with a digital license so the the bios must know that windows 10 pro any version can go on these we're now booted and this is windows 10 pro and as you can see it recognized everything um keyboard wise and including the on-screen keyboard right so as you can see the calibration is a bit off i'm touching the bottom of the screen and it's coming to here. Oh, there you go. You see, so is that going to come on? No. Yeah. Can you see? Can you see it's off? When I touch, it comes above it, not underneath where my finger is. But the touch screen is working. And it's a ten-point touch screen. So anyway. The, the issue that we had originally was that when you used the assist here, the notifications, the rotation lock button was greyed out. And this apparently is a common fault on these devices, the, the 1010Bs, which this one is, or the 1032s, 1064s, 1232s, 1264s, basically any of the bigger... Well, I assume any of the bigger tablets with the keyboard attachment with the standard build after a Windows upgrade the rotation lock button becomes disabled which means when you take the device out the keyboard it doesn't rotate you see so the screen doesn't rotate which is annoying because um, if you want to use it in tablet mode you can't do and the touchscreen keyboard didn't appear so after many many hours of internet searching and different google foos and different things like that i managed to find something that was quite interesting that allows this let's do it let's try it and see yeah that allows this to now be enabled and disabled so when rotation lock is off, as you can see, the whole device rotates. Any which way you want. And that's right now, so that's fixed and made it a proper working tablet again. And it's great, which means that this now is worth, I don't know, Fifty pounds as opposed to twenty two and a half, so it's doubled in price basically because it's fully working. Um, the only annoying thing is, is that um, with the keyboard attached, it still rotates the screen. But you know, if you can live with it, then that's not a problem. Most people will use it probably in tablet mode anyway, or in keyboard laptop mode. So. I don't think there's anything lost, but that shows that you can you can buy one of these for 22, 20 quid in a non-working screen doesn't rotate fashion and fix it. And the way you fix it, right, 
you go to start button and you type in regedit. Press enter. And because this is Windows Pro, it asks you automatically for your admin rights to run as administrator. Now, if you're on any other version of Windows, you will probably have to run regedit as administrator. Okay. Now, I don't recommend you doing this unless you know what you're doing. So, you need to go to, can you see that? Computer, H key local machine, system, current control set, control, and then that is priority control. Now, mine says a one over that. So, if you go, if you go to priority control, you'll see these two keys in here. And the one that you want is the convertible slate mode. And that at the moment is set to one. So that needs to be set to zero. Okay. And then once that's set to zero, that lock button on here, the auto lock rotate, becomes active. But this is the key that stops the detection of the keyboard being in there and means it rotates when the keyboard's plugged in. Um, I don't care, it fixes it for me, it works. So that's computer, H key local machine, system, current control set, control, priority control. And then once you've changed this, rename that top key to priority control one, otherwise this gets reset every time you do a hard reboot. Now if you never reboot your tablet, that's fine, but I turn it off and turn it back on again quite a lot. So I renamed it to one and it's stuck. And as you can see down here, it hasn't put another priority control uh, key in. So it doesn't recreate it, but it will change it if it finds it. So presumably if it doesn't find it at boot up, it doesn't do anything with it. And if it does find it at boot up, it does change that back. And that's it. And that's what I did to fix it. Now, everybody was touting, oh yes, update your drivers, which I did, and it didn't work. So there's a number of forums on the internet, very old ones that have to go back to the Wayback Machine, um, that say, do this, do that, do the other. I tried them all on the original version of Windows 10 Education, didn't work. Uh, but the Windows 10, when I reinstalled it and tried this, this one thing, worked superb and it fixed all the problems that we were having. So this now is a fully working 10 inch Windows 10 Pro tablet, but it only has two gigs of RAM. So really it's only good enough for things like Facebook and WhatsApp and things like that. Now, one thing to note is that if you're going to reinstall one of these, make Windows 10 on a USB stick from the media creation tool, but make sure you do both versions, I think, because the UEFI boot on these does not recognize a 64-bit file. So you have to have boot 32a.uefi uh, and not boot 64a on the, the boot media. So I fell foul of that. I made a 64-bit Windows boot and it didn't work. Um, the CPU is a 64-bit processor. So this is Windows 10 32-bit x86 running on an Atom 64-bit processor because it has only got two gigs of RAM. There's no point really in putting the 64-bit version on unless you want something like Facebook Messenger Which apparently now at the moment is 64-bit only and doesn't run on this device um, Facebook works fine uh, WhatsApp works fine Facebook Messenger not so much the settings on the store say Windows 64 so I don't know but this is really enough for what I need for the moment anyway and I may sell it and buy a bigger one because I bought this with the intention of running Kali Linux to do some security testing and some penetration testing. And um, yeah, it, um, it works very well with Kali Linux, but the screen is so small, it's very difficult for my old eyes to see it, especially in the terminal sessions. So, you know, I'm going to get a bigger laptop with a bigger screen, but that's another story in another video. But yes, yeah, so there we go. This is Lynx 1010B tablet convertible computer fixed for screen rotation running Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to just prove it to you. Windows 10 Pro.
So there we go, that's the specifications. So we've got an Intel, oh there we go, so it's a, a 3735F processor at 1.3 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, 32-bit operating system with a Windows, uh, with a, an x86 based processor. Oh, and we have Windows 10 Pro 21 H1. And um, it's also got the Windows feature experience packing. So yeah, works fine, no problems. And it's pretty nippy as you can see, the scrolling is quite quick. Um, and also it's fully touch screen now, it's all working. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, oh, one thing to notice that the sensor inside it is a Bosch sensor. A Bosch accelerometer. Um, some of these have Keonix ones, which are the same as the, Len the Lenovo tablets. That one didn't work. The driver installed and didn't give me any errors, but just would not rotate the screen. So it's definitely the Bosch driver. Um, and what I'll do is in the description, I'll put a location to where the drivers and the Windows 10 original install media for this device can be found. Um, I've got it hosted on one of my servers somewhere. Somebody posted that they spoke to um, Lynx Technical Support and they gave them the actual ISO file for the original install with all the built-in drivers. So you've got the chance of putting the original Windows 10 Education back on it or Windows 10 Pro because it automatically activates, you know. And you can put Ubuntu on and Calyx and, and all sorts. It works as a Windows PC. They are brilliant. They're really good. And for the money, it's really a nice little cute machine. Um, takes about four hours to charge and you get let's have a seat can I show you the um I oh, see so the screen needs calibrating yeah so you get six hours and four minutes about about six and a half hours maybe on a full battery charge so that's pretty good so the batteries are holding the charges which are nice um was a bargain really for £22.50 so there you go well as ever thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, click the bell icon and then select all if you're a mobile device so you get all notifications of new videos that I upload um, leave me a like share the video leave me a comment um, have you got one of these is it broken have, have you fixed it using this video it'd be good to know how many of these have been resurrected because they're still good um, I'm not sure it'll run Windows 11 because it's only got 2 gigs of RAM, but it has got the TPM chip and it's got a 64-bit processor. So I might try Windows 11 on it as an upgrade and see whether that works. Might do it, might not. Not bothered keeping it as it is. Um, but yeah, so, so that was it. Thank you very much again for watching and don't forget to tune in next week. And as ever, be safe everybody. See you in the next video. Goodbye.